Hi, I'm Joanne Enslin de Vett. I'm a physiotherapist and I'm a teacher for the Burrell Institute. I teach visceral manipulation one, two, and three. Um, and my passion is on treating chronic sports injuries. Over 25% of athletes that have a, an injury have a, have a chronic sports injury. In fact, the, rag, the, the World Rugby Union has found that 60% um, of rugby players that have a sports injury have a chronic injury. They have five or more injuries and the, the origin is unknown. So I have a patient that um, came to me with leg pain. She was a runner. And the cause of this leg pain was a previous appendectomy. So what had happened is the tension of her ap appendectomy had created a pull on her ascending colon, which had created tension in her lumbar plexus, which lies underneath her kidney. So I'm going to show you a little bit about the technique that I used on her to release and relieve her leg pain that she'd had for two years, a chronic injury from running which came for no a particular reason. So in order to relieve the appendectomy scar, we have to localize um, the cecum. So once we have found the borders of the cecum, the, me the lateral border, the inferior border, and the medial border of the cecum, we are able to mobility test to see where we find the restriction. So her restriction had created a, a longitudinal tension which had caused her right kidney to have a tosis, to drop down. And we know that the lumbar plexus sits behind her kidney. And her symptoms were down the leg into the medial part of her foot. So once we had released her kidney and the restriction in her appendectomy scar, her pain disappeared out of her leg, having had two years of chronic pain and been to many practitioners. So I'm going to show you the technique that I used on my patient that had this running injury. So I have, a, I have Rita here, and I'm going to mobility test her cecum, following a pand appendectomy when she was in her teenage year. So I test her cecum. I can do a lateral glide, cephalad, or medial. So once I've located the restriction in the parietofecal ligament, I'm able to release the restriction with a technique called induction. It's a technique you will learn from the Burrell Institute. And the technique involves um, listening and following the tissue in order to create the relief. And we also know that what lies behind the cecum is our obturator nerve, which innervates our hip and our, our knee, um, our femoral nerve. We know the saphenous nerve goes right the way down to the foot, on the medial part of the foot. It's the only nerve of the lumbar plexus that goes beyond the knee. And so once I, once I was able to release the medial parietocecal ligament, I could then go on to release her right kidney, which had resulted in a tosis because of the mechanical pull from her appendectomy scar. So first, we need to mobility test the cecum to find where the restrictions are that have resulted from Rita's appendectomy. There are many other types of um, pelvic scars that can cause this, such as caesar scars, appendectomies, inguinal hernia, inguinal surgery, etc. etc. Once the mobility has been restored on the cecum, the traction behind the kidney on the lumbar plexus um, no longer creates this leg pain that we often find in our athletes. So, so you can learn these techniques um, with the Burrell Institute. Visceral 1 and Visceral 2 cover the abdominal organs, which is what I've just demonstrated.
part of what I've just demonstrated in order to um, prevent these chronic injuries and to prevent the adaptations that happen through our musculoskeletal system due to um, visceral restriction. I highly recommend that all sports practitioners that deal with chronic injury do this work in order to find the, the reason for our athletes that keep coming back with chronic injury. There's nothing more frustrating than to be an athlete with a chronic injury. And there's nothing more frustrating for a therapist to have an athlete that keeps coming back with a chronic sports injury. So when you take visceral manipulation one and two, you will be able to help your patients that have these chronic sports injuries. And you will learn this technique and many others.